My name is Nicole, I'm a tea writer and educator and I'm here to help you learn more about tea. This tea kettle doesn't just heat your water, it actually makes the tea for you. Let's talk about it. This kettle is called the Tea Maker and it's made by Breville. They're definitely a household name when it comes to kitchen appliances. If you've been around tea as long as I have, you'll know that this used to be called the Breville One Touch Tea Maker. It's the same device, they've just changed the name over the years. Um, there really hasn't been any actual changes to the design or the functionality. I won my first Breville Tea Maker um, back in 2010 at a Steepster meetup in New York City. Nearly 12 years later, that kettle's still working perfectly, so I think that's a really good testament to the quality. Um, of course, with any electronic product, there can be defects, but I haven't personally run into any. So first I thought I would go over some of the pros and cons, and then we'll take a closer look at how the tea maker works. So for starters, you can see it's quite large. Um, that I would say is a bit of a downside. Counter space is definitely at a premium, um, and this does take up quite a bit of width as well as height, but you do have the advantage of being able to make a large amount of tea at once. The maximum capacity for brewing tea in this kettle is about 1200 milliliters. That works out to a little bit less than six cups. If you're just heating hot water, the maximum capacity is 1500 milliliters, which is a little bit under seven cups. The minimum for either brewing tea or just heating up water is 500 milliliters. That's a little bit over two cups. Um, for some people that may be a downside, realistically if I'm drinking tea in this way, I'm gonna be using a larger cup. I'm not using this for like gong fu service. So that's perfectly fine to me to just have to make at least two cups of tea. The pitcher itself is mostly glass and stainless steel. Uh, there are some plastic components that come into contact with the tea, um, namely the lid, which to me isn't so much of a big deal because this isn't coming into constant contact. The infuser basket is stainless steel but does also have plastic pieces as well. Um, for some people that can be a deal breaker. For me I haven't ever noticed any off tastes or aromas um, so it really hasn't affected my tea in a bad way at all. This kettle has built-in functions where you can select the type of tea as well as how long you'd like the tea to be. Um, or you can also customize that however you'd like. I really like that. I don't like kettles where you kind of just have a handful of buttons and there's not much control beyond that. You can brew tea or just make hot water, uh, so there are separate buttons for that. There's also a keep warm function, which is really nice if you are making a large amount of tea. If I'm having a party, I like to just brew up a large amount and put it on keep warm so that way everyone can help themselves whenever they'd like. It also has an auto start function. Um, so that's definitely something I've taken advantage of in the winter when it's really cold. Um, it's awesome to wake up and have tea already brewed and ready for me to warm up with. To give a better look at the controls on this kettle, um, you have hot water. So that's if you're just heating water to make tea separately. Um, tea is if you want the kettle to brew your tea for you. This button selects your strengths. So you can do custom, mild, medium, or strong. So you can see as you change that, the time becomes longer. Um, so if you brew your tea for five minutes, it's going to be stronger than if it's brewed for three minutes. You can also use these buttons to toggle that time and the brew temperature manually as well. This button allows you to select green, black, white, herbal, oolong, or custom. Um, and same thing, you can use these buttons to toggle the time and temp the temperature just like you did the time. The screen looks like it looks a little bit blinky on camera. It actually doesn't look like that in person. I think it's just sometimes cameras don't like screens. So the auto start button is to have the kettle brew the tea for you automatically. So you set the current time and the start time. If your kettle becomes unplugged, this time does reset, so you wanna make sure you watch out for if you have any power blips or power surges, or if there's an outage, the kettle will need to be reprogrammed. Uh, the keep warm function keeps the tea warm um, as long as that button is lit. Um, every time you do pick it up from the base, that function is reset, so you'll need to hit the button again in order to have that start. The basket function um, basically just agitates the basket inside of the kettle. That can make it taste a little bit stronger depending on the tea that you're using. It's not a function that I use all that often. I've added some Ceylon black tea leaves to my infuser basket. One tip I can give is to make sure that you distribute the tea leaves evenly in your basket so that way they're not going to brew unevenly. When you're ready to brew, 
you want to line up this part of the basket with the post that's near the handle inside of the kettle. There's a magnet at the top that will grab it so that way it rests at the top. Always put your lid on. Since this is a Ceylon black tea, I have my settings on black tea and strong. Once you want to make your tea, hit the tea button and the kettle will then start boiling. I do find that it's fairly fast. It's faster than a typical stovetop model, but not as fast as my newer fellow Corvo EKG. You can see that the kettle is now starting to lower the tea basket into the water. And if I hit the basket button, you'll see that it starts moving the basket up and down. This is kind of like the electronic equivalent of dunking your tea bag. Doesn't necessarily do a whole lot to improve flavor, but it's definitely satisfying and fun to watch. And you'll notice this kettle has a nice loud beep when the tea is done. Have you ever used the Breville Tea Maker? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.